Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's have a look at something I call bespoke light effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, let's have a look at the example and then I'm gonna show you how you're, you're going to create a unique set of light effects that no one else in the world has. All right, let's have a look. And then we get really crazy. And then really crazy. So what do I mean by original effects that are tailor-made to you? That's because you're going to use your phone to record the sun. <laughs> I know this sounds crazy. What you just saw was footage I just went out in the backyard, pointed my phone up to the sun, and moved my fingers between the lens to hide it. Now, after doing this, and I just did a, a quick test, what I would probably do is not use my hand. Um, it worked out okay here, but if you want a neutral flashing, then I'd probably use something solid black to hide it, because with the light, because there's subsurface reflections, and well, you can see a little bit of red in my fingers. But let me show you how easy this is. So let's start over here with this one. So as I drag over top, you see an effect come in. And if I look in my effects controls and open up the opacity, instead of being normal, which would just hide everything, I have it set to hard light. And you can choose any of these, try any of these, and they make different kinds of effects. But I'm using hard light here, and I'm using a very short amount of the clip just as a transition between these. And it's not a complete transition. You still see where the cut is, but I just like this lens flare kind of look. Now this is a Galaxy, uh, Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus, and that's what this lens looks like. Obviously, if you've got um, an iPhone, you might get a little bit different with the lens, depending on what lens. You can switch these lenses now in these cameras, in, the, in these phones. Um, even an old phone, it doesn't matter. Remember, you're not looking for perfection. You're looking for something jumping around. And let me open this footage up just so you can see it. So you can see my fingers going between, and that's what I mean by a little bit of the redness in there, that. It's okay, but I would probably try something darker. Let me zoom out a little bit. I, I recorded quite a bit of this footage. And the other one, so the first one I went out and I started recording near my roof. So the roof edge is in here. This, this gave a more restricted effect because you can see that line in the frame, but it also added a, a certain kind of grunge to it, which kind of worked. But that's all I did as I just pointed at the sun. Obviously be careful when you're looking at the sun. Yes, I had spots in my eyes when I came back in the house. But I just dropped these on and changed the blend mode. Hard light for that one again. And this one's set to screen. So this one is a little bit more blown out because screen is going to um, have more brights. And you can see there's the edge of the roof on that one. It doesn't look that bad. It's got a kind of a crazy effect. I've got a lot of geometric shapes going on in this. Now, the last one that I, I sh uh, showed in here. Okay, so this is a longer clip, but it's the same thing. And this one is set to hard light. And this one is set to hard mix. And it kind of has that posterizing effect to this. And you don't really have a lot of control. 
but I, I thought this, <laughs> this was great because you can see some of the features. And because it's moving around quickly, it's got that grungy effect. Now you do have one more control that, that uh, helps you find where in the recording of, of the light is best, and that's the slip tool. If you go over here to the slip tool, not the slide tool, the slip tool, and uh, here's an animation of what slipping does. It's actually keeping the in and out points and it's moving the clip within the in and out points. So if you imagine I've got that full clip of all the lights and I'm changing what is showing in that cropped in area. And it's not going to show me the composite. I wish it would, but it, I can see what is in the screen and then when I let go, then I can see what's going on. So if I want none of the fingers and more of just the sun, so now it's more of the sun and not my fingers, or if I want the sun at the beginning and the fingers later, boom, there they come in. Remember this one was, yeah, this one's hard light. But having the slip tool, which is the, the, the Y, keyboard shortcut to give you the slip tool. You can come in here and really, there's some of the, a lot of the uh, flares. Let me change this to screen. And really you can move your mouse and move your scroll wheel up here and just start going through all of them and see what they look like. You're gonna get some crazy results, some amazing results. There's pin light. Now the thing with pin light is it is it it comes on immediately. So if you wanted to, you could have the clip selected Control D, Command D, and add across dissolve, but make it really short. So that's pin light with a cross dissolve on it, really quick. And that almost completely obscures it. But the, the, just the simple fact that you have all of this control to go crazy with this, no one is gonna have any effects that look like your effects. You're going to use your phone, and I didn't try it, but you could try it in the house too. Um, the only thing you really have to pay attention to if you're getting house lights is contrast. So there was enough contrast between the bright sun and the blue sky. Obviously it would look different with a cloudy sky, but you want the brightness. You've got to go out on a bright day or shoot bright lights in the house, but whatever is near the bright light after the light needs to have some contrast. So if it's a white ceiling and a white light, it's not really going to be as effective as something dark. Um, then you could even use the keying to key out the blue in here and do lots of crazy stuff. So. Go nuts, have fun, protect your eyes, but just go out and start shooting uh, these light leaks and uh, you can just, no one's gonna have anything that looks like this. And then you can actually build up a library of these, save them and, and reuse them, change the position of where they start and stop. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You wanna support us some more? You can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop donate once or monthly, any amount, lots of free stuff to download and a member section too. Thanks to all of our wonderful donors and supporters. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to sit around and get crazy ideas and run out in the backyard and turn them into, I think, an inter interesting tutorial that you can use. <laughs>